Hello everybody welcome again and now today's uh, objective is to see how we can download the purchase order reports in SAP. So uh, this question has been put forward to me many a times that uh, people would like to know how they should be able to download the SAP reports. So uh, we'll discuss how we can do that. So now purchase order reports uh, you have many uh, different kind of purchase order reports in SAP there are some standard reports then you will also have customized reports so one best option is that you create a query and then uh, from the query you can uh, download it otherwise the second option is that uh, you have uh, one more option of uh, straight away downloading by office uh, in the office you have option of listing and under listing you can go and you can download it to a local file but let's see how we can do that to a spreadsheet so uh, i'm just going to show only one way out today how we can download so the transaction code I'm going to utilize uh, today is NEATFN so let's just go to NEATFN so the T code let me just type in NEATFN so let's say now this uh, the reason why I have picked this uh, report is because this is basically for general evaluations of the purchase order and it would have all the details fetched in as such so I'm going to run a wide search here. So already my plant is uh, picked up by default. It's 3000 here. So I'm just going to run on, on the basis of the plant. And uh, if in case you want, you can run it on the basis of the vendor as well, or maybe for the material group, specific material group, or for a purchasing group. So um, this is again, you know, you can have uh, some dynamic selections also uh, from here on the top. So here you have options of picking up many options from the purchasing document header um, and uh, if in case you want to uh, pick some details at the item level that is also there uh, like deletion indicator etc there's so many options available so you can choose how what details you want to uh, have in your report once you choose all of them then just press execute so the report once is shown into your SAP screen what you can do is okay so here uh, the report is already there so you can see here that it has uh, picked up on the basis of the purchasing document so let's just say that if any of the purchasing document has more than one line item then in that case they will be appearing like this like you can see here 33 and 34 sorry 33 line item 1 and 2 okay now similarly here this one 2171 this one is having four line items 10 20 30 and 40 so you can see there are four different line items which are a part of this purchase order. So all the details of the purchase order will be um, showing in the report as such. So now let's see how we can uh, download it. So here you can see this particular option called export. So click on this export. The moment you click on this export, you will find different options. So you can either send it via email or you can just uh, send it to SAP office folders or you can just download it as a local file or word processing but we are just going to focus more on the spreadsheet so let's go to the spreadsheet so here again uh, here you will have multiple options always choose the latest option so you can see in this uh, currently the select this and then you can select this if in case you want this to be as a default format uh, so I'm just going to say ok now the moment when you say OK, it would give you an option to save in your uh, local hard drive. So I'm going to give this report underscore purchase order underscore 3000. So I'm going to save this. Save and let's see allow again allow and now here bingo here you can see that your report is there in excel so all the details like here both the line items of 33 have been uh, picked up all the four line items of 2171 is picked up you can see all the details have been picked up as was as whatever was shown on the screen okay now i'm going to just close this and then I'm going to see yeah so here you can see that the report what we generated is already saved here again open it up and let's see so you can see all the details has been saved to your local drive 
I hope you like this video. So do let me know if in case you were able to download successfully. Um, try some more methods because we do have a lot more other methods uh, which I would be explaining in my upcoming videos. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it please do uh, click like, share and subscribe and also not uh, forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much.